<clears throat> so first for Michael, where do I take my Mac that has suffered the unfortunate rum and coke incident? So the rum and coke, yeah, that'll do it. Um, yeah, well, you can take it, obviously there's a national uh, collection system in place now where there's drop-off locations all around the state. You can go to, uh, there's two websites, techcollect.com uh, or techcollect.org and uh, DHL Drop Zone, and that has a list of places you can take it for free. Alternatively, you can talk to us and come and drop it down. Um, go to our website, totalgreenrecycling.com.au and we can recover, actually, if there's any usable parts in it, we can still recover those parts and worst case, we can recycle it for recovery. All right, and I'll see if I can get those details put up on our Facebook page later for anyone who just didn't memorize that. So Hannah's got a mic. Who's got a question? Yeah, no, that's a good, good question, um, and look, that's how we started our business. Um, yeah, we, we've developed a program, we're talking to councils to work on that. Councils are very concerned with the bulk verge and they want to eliminate things that shouldn't be on the verge. I personally think it's good um, having that verge material available, like it's a tremendous resource to go around and, and look for stuff. Um, with regards to the electronics, like that's our focus and we're trying to provide solutions to pick it up. Um, yeah. yeah. Did that answer the question? Yes. Yeah. You're working that way. We're working on it. Just a point about my friend. She she does the birdside stuff, but she gets into the bins behind the grocery stores. She's just a higher level. She's just, thing. well, I don't know if it's higher or lower, but <laughs> it's a green skill and a half. I've got a question for Shani. Just wanted to see how you went with the council with regard to multi dwelling uh, locations on one site and how you got past the red tape of that. Jolly good question. Um, we have had to make sort of adjustments to what ideally it is that we'd like to do. But um, yeah, come up later and we can sort of show you the plans and what it was that we had to adjust things. What I find, or what we found, is that there's often a real interest in that at a higher level. Um, but even the people within the council or wherever are fighting legislation that needs to get changed. And so there's a real recognition there because this is a really viable alternative to putting up an apartment block. Or, and for us, it's also about urban food resilience as well. So it's, there's an alternative there that people are interested in. When I go down our street, there are a lot of old grannies living in houses at age 90 who can't don't want to move from there and the family's coming in there, you know, and they don't want to live with her either. Um, but they might want to live in a situation where they can be independent downstairs. And so Tim and I plan to, to die in that house. Um, and the goal is to have some people paying us money at a certain point in our, in our lives when we need that. Everyone over about maybe 50 is nodding now. Um, and then have a housekeeper that comes in and does that stuff. And then a nurse that comes in and does that stuff. And then a doctor, actually, no, not a doctor because they're not much used at the end, but an undertaker can be the last. <laughs> and a person who comes through into those apartments. So it allows people to age in place in, in a really positive way as well. Okay, so we've got about 10 more minutes. Who's got a burning question for one of our panelists? Hannah, up the front. She's running. Okay. Um, I'm living on a farm in Beverly. And I just wonder what it takes to get some school kids up there to paint, to grow some Cape lilacs down here and plant them up Cape there. lilacs? Cape lilacs are a very good tree for fodder. They source a lot of sulphur from deep in the soil. And one of the problems I had as an organic farmer was controlling lice on sheep. And the neem tree, which is from India, 
I was told will control insect pests and the lice will actually drop off because they starve to death. I've tasted the cake lilac leaf, it's extremely bitter. It's very hard to get the taste out of your mouth and I really sympathise with the lice. Okay, yeah, well come and talk to us because we grow 9,000 plants a year and we're always experimenting with different things. But we haven't grown non-Australian plants. Well, they are Australian plants. Cape Lilac, so? Oh, cool. Okay.
to have some coherent policies that take into account uh, where we live and the delicate state of the planet and how we move forward. Uh, that's what I'd like to, that's the green skill I'd like to see, but that needs to be done by politicians. I can
you often hear you make a difference, you make a difference with the kids, you make a difference, all those little things. Sometimes in the middle of the night, I still wake up and go, it's not going to be enough. And so my dream would be that people, when they've got to that point, get to a point that I've got to, which is, I'm going to just down well do it, because what else am I going to do? I don't want to be standing there letting it overwhelm me or doing whatever. I have to actually do something. Even if I know it's make to make to this what it's what an honest, true, valued, ethical, conscious person does. And that's enough for me. us to the end of our proceedings and for my part the end of an era. So for those of you who have been coming to Perth Green Drinks for a few years now, you might have seen me up here before. With a great honor I've introduced some pretty phenomenal speakers over the years and the decision has been made and I will be moving to Melbourne in May. So this is my official last time as you know, your host and MC of Green drinks. So. Before you go, <laughs> Neil's not here, but I am. Uh, I'm Kenny Gordon. I'm from uh, Central. It was exactly uh, four years ago today that we uh, started this uh, sponsorship with Green Drinks. Our first event was with, uh, with a guy from New York, um, and uh, we had eight people turned up, and uh, five were from my department, and uh, we dragged them in. Um, and uh, the event finished in uh, 15 minutes and we were left with a lot of uh, beer to drink. <laughs> we persisted, however. And as you can see, the events have grown. Uh, the speakers are getting better. We've got a real community around us. And I have to thank my colleague, Leanne Pereira, for the work she puts in from Central. Uh, but, I, but the two people that have done the most to grow the Green Drinks community is uh, Flavia Pardini and uh, Susan Broughton, who is now Susanna Sun. Hi, Susanna. Susanna Sun. On Facebook, I'm Susanna Sun if you want to friend right. me. Right. On LinkedIn, Flavia, bro. <laughs> Flavia will be returning to, to Brazil and Susanna will be uh, taking the sun to Melbourne. Um, Susanna's a hard working, a, a unique host, really. Uh, very entertaining us. I'm not often come just to uh, see what Suzanne is going to come up with. Uh, so she's great value and uh, and we're certainly going to miss you. Uh, so, uh, you know, all the best of luck in, in Melbourne. Uh, in, appreciation, in appreciation of the work that you've done for Green Drinks, I, um, I have this expensive bottle of wine from you, for you. And that's from uh, Neil's collection. Um, Thank you. And so a big thank you to, uh, to you and to the, to the panellists uh, and to Hannah for organising tonight. I hope, I hope you can all uh, stay around and help me drink that, uh, that little bridge because it's pretty good. Uh, and now to you, Hannah. Oh yes, thanks everybody. I just have a little bottle of wine for each of you as well. Thank you so much for making tonight. Thank you, Hannah. Thank you so much. I'm going to miss you so much. <laughs> this wasn't rehearsed. <laughs> <laughs> there are really big uh, shoes to fill. So if you know anybody who might have shoes that will fit this role, please. <laughs> Seven and a half, eight. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Otherwise, um, I think it's time to enjoy a drink, meet someone new. speakers and all the volunteers. We have Ali up the back who I didn't mention earlier filming tonight. Also Kathleen, Hannah and Marty. And absolutely thank you all for being here because Perth Green Drinks wouldn't be what it is without you. So now time for food and nibbles. <laughs>